Hello everyone, we're at the Hotel Trada in Roses, uh, España, and they were kind enough to uh, provide us with a chef to demonstrate the incredible quality of Oli de Pau, which is one of the products we carry, and um, we're going to make some fish with vegetables. We're going to keep it a, a, a very simple recipe, but quality, because, you know, as we all know in America, we're very busy, and we don't have a lot of time to cook. So we want to, but we know if you use great quality ingredients, life is about enjoying good food, not um, using, you know, the cheapest olive oil you can find. It's to use a very beautiful olive oil. And I'm going to have them explain why a great oil uh, can be cooked with. A lot of Americans think that you can't cook with them uh, just because it's a great oil. Okay, so we're going to talk about that a little bit. Okay, so I'll be back in a moment. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm proud as an honor to present you Miki Pineda, he's the chef of Hotel Terraza, and me, Xavier Morel from Emporalia of the Pau. Uh, now we will uh, start to cooking, uh, uh, recipe with vegetables and fish, with our extra virgin olive oil, olive de Pau. Uh, we can use it, this oil in cold, in nature, for salads, of course, and we appreciate uh, raw, it's how we can appreciate the aromas, etc. But it's a mistake to only to use uh, in this way. We can demonstrate now that you can use it to fry uh, fish, to salted vegetables. Uh, it's uh, perfect in this way, and to appreciate a and cook with a very high quality olive oil. Javier, is frying and sautéing different? It, it isn't uh, it different. It's, you I shouldn't fry, right? Is, uh, saute, grill, right? Grill, grill and saute. saute. Yes, saute but it is in a in a in a poil, is in, in a saute in a saute or in a wok like this. But they should they fry with a good oil? No, no fry, fry. No, uh, normally fry. We use uh, another kind of oils. Uh, one thing is for the this is a very good oil, and is a lot of concentration of tasting. And to fry potatoes, for example, so if you make some chips, is uh, a lot of taste of olive oil, and it's a little bit expensive to, to do this. But not to fry, but to grill, to saute, to do anything in salads with uh, cheeses that we already do with the cheese uh, and a toast, the bread is perfect to appreciate. But with uh, temperatures not too much than. Uh, uh, 170 degrees Celsius. We can use it not not hottest temperatures. This is to drain the oil, but of course we use for all, uh, not not just in cold. This is important because always the people think that only use the good oil uh, for uh, salads, and it's not true. Uh, life is too short to use the bad oils. Then all all the food goes inside you, you know, and it's. Uh, your healthness. So are you saying you are what you eat, right? So it's exactly. important what this you put in your body. Exactly, Kevin. The work is this. You are what you eat. And if you eat a uh, good product, you have a good health. Okay? Thank you. One, two to go. Hello. Here we are again. It's just to present the ingredients that we're going to cook. is uh, this fresh fish from the area. It's a red mallet. It's a white fish. But it's a rocky fish. It's very tasty. Perfect. We just put some salt and pepper, a little bit of uh, pimenton, uh, red paprika, Spanish red paprika, with the fish. And also with uh, the oil, to salt of these uh, vegetables, is uh, green beans, leek, uh, carrot, and also uh, zucchini. Okay, Mike, when you like, you can go on. Let's go. One, go.
Okay, he's putting a little salt on there. And he's gonna add a, just a little sprinkle of pimenton and a little pepper. Very simple, right? If you have a great fresh fish, you don't need all kinds of spice. Fresh is more important. And a great oil, oil and fish and seafood is just a very natural combination. everybody just to make sure you understand what kind of fish this is it's a rock fish r-o-c-k this part of the region of spain is very very rocky so hence the name okay so uh looking pretty tasty i can tell you that guys i wish you were here so you could smell the aroma is amazing especially with the oily de pao i mean again i can't emphasize i can't it's beyond me how someone can use a bad oil to cook fish you must use good good oils your meal just makes such a difference. Hey everybody, this is the finished dish. I'm so sorry for you that you can't be here to eat it, but I'm going to eat some and don't be too jealous, okay? <laughs> but this is the finished product. See, very simple, not a lot of work to do. And I mean, you can, you can work, you can have your career and still eat a great meal. Go. Okay, and today for dessert here in the Hotel Terraza, the Mike, the chef, prepares this uh, plateau of cheeses, uh, local cheeses, with bread and some fruits. And we put only the pao too. This is very, it's very good also for a breakfast to arrange, to prepare some toast and put this olive oil. Mm, it's very good to start the day with this. Yes, Americans have a tendency to think cereals are really healthy breakfast. Well, I would argue <laughs> that, you know, we should all eat more like the Mediterranean diet. So uh, this is a nice alternative idea. You can mix some nuts in there, a little bread, a little cheese if you want to have something nice and fresh in the morning. And obviously, Oli de Pau is a great way to go. Uh, it's my founding oil. It is one of the best I've ever tasted. It is, is absolutely just beautiful.